I'm going to turn my Nintendo Switch into a Steam Deck. What does that even mean? This means I'll be able to play Steam games on my Switch and any other computer games I want to at 60 FPS with no input delay. This was very confusing to do, but I somehow did it, so let me show you how. Starting off, I created a list of everything I was going to need. A modded Switch running Atmosphere custom firmware, SysClick, which allows you to overclock your Switch, and the other homebrew app, which makes this all possible. Wow, shortest list ever. Because there's no way to get my Switch to run the same OS the Steam Deck uses, the next best option would be to stream my computer to my Switch. Luckily, there's a homebrew app called Moonlight, which makes this possible. This requires your computer to have a NVIDIA GPU because it utilizes a software called NVIDIA Shield Game Stream. But if you do have an AMD GPU, well, stay tuned. When you open Moonlight, make sure you hold down R while opening a game to launch the homebrew menu outside of applet mode, or else you won't have enough system resources to use the software. Inside Moonlight, I went to settings and typed in my computer's IP address, which I got by opening command prompt and typing in IP config. Oh my gosh, guys, don't hack me! After doing that, I opened GeForce Experience on my computer, went to settings, shield, and enabled game stream. Instead of having to add a bunch of games, I added steam.exe as a game, and when I clicked it in Moonlight, it would automatically launch into big picture mode, which let me use my controller. With that all set up, it was time to see if it worked. All right, so now if I click connect, it should work. Yes, there we go. All right, let's click into Steam. I'm not sure where Fortnite launcher came from. I'm gonna launch Black Ops 3 and we're gonna see how it works. Wow, and I'm in? Well, I guess that's it. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Well, sadly, it wasn't that easy. Though this hypothetically worked, there was a huge issue that I couldn't avoid. No matter how close I put my switch to my router or how many settings I changed, there was one thing that made this whole experience terrible, input delay. Oh my gosh, that's like a 0 0.5 second delay or something, and this is terrible. Well, it's Jover. Uh, I guess you guys got clickbaited. No oh Steam Deck God. today. Just kidding, don't click off. What if I were to tell you that there is a software that functions exactly like NVIDIA Shield, supports Moonlight, works with all GPUs, and has almost no input delay? Well, after some searching around, I found out about Sunshine. Sunshine works by using your computer as a dedicated game server, like how cloud gaming services work, so that you can stream what's on your computer to other devices. Looking at the Sunshine GitHub, I thought this was going to be really confusing to set up, but thankfully the process was actually super easy. After downloading Sunshine EXE, opening it, and clicking proceed to site anyways, hopefully nothing bad happens, I went to configuration, network, and enabled UPnP so I didn't have to set up port forwarding on my own. Now remember the sysclick thing I mentioned at the start of the video? I'm not sure if using it actually reduces input delay, but I swear it does. So I took my SD card out of my switch, downloaded sysclick from their GitHub, extracted the zip, and dragged these files onto the root of my SD card. Get back in there. After that, I went into the homebrew menu and opened SysClip. If your Switch is moddable without needing a mod chip, you most likely have a Mari model and here's a list of the safe maximum overclocks for each component of your switch i went to advanced settings and set my temporary overrides to each of these so that my switch would be overclocked when i had moonlight open i then opened moonlight re-added my computer and typed in this pin in the pin section in sunshine so now that we know this works let me tell you what i thought of playing switch games on my switch but better. My genius mastermind never done before idea was to run a Switch emulator on my computer and stream that to my Switch. This way I could take advantage of my computer's power to play games at better performance than what the Switch can natively support. To do this, I downloaded Yuzu from their, oh yeah, they got shut down by Nintendo. Well, you can download Ryugenix instead or search somewhere else to find Yuzu. Anyways, I set up Yuzu and bought these Switch games to add to it. I then went to emulation, configure, controls, and set any device to function as the Switch Joy-Con. The game I wanted to test this with was Tears of the Kingdom, as due to the Switch's terrible hardware, the game can only run at 30 FPS and dips below that half of the time. So hopefully with this method and a Yuzu mod I linked in the description, I can play this at a solid 60 FPS with no frame drops. I went into Steam and added Yuzu as a non-Steam game so I could open it when in big picture mode. I then went into Moonlight, connected it to my computer, and it was time. All right, guys, here we go. We are now in big picture mode on my Switch, and it's time to open been used. Oh, wait, why, why is my controller not working? Now that we're in Yuzu, we're going to go down to Tears of the Kingdom. Here we go. Now we just wait 10 years for it to load and we're going to test this out. I'm so ready for this. Oh my gosh, we are in. And I don't know if you can see this, but in the very top left, it says we are getting, come on, focus, focus. All right, you just have to take my word for it. It says we're getting 60 FPS. Let's see if that's actually true when we're in game playing though. Oh my gosh. I am playing Tears of the Kingdom on my Switch at 60 FPS. This is so cool. Do you see how smooth this looks? Oh my gosh. And even if it does drop below, like even if I get 50 or even 40 at sometimes, that's still going to be better than the Switch's 30 that it's 
locked at. And there's no input delay. Look at that. I'm moving around perfectly fine without having to worry about anything. But yeah, this is 60 FPS Tears of the Kingdom. Sunshine is a super cool application and being able to play Tears of the Kingdom at 60 FPS on my Switch was awesome. I hope you enjoyed me walking you through the process of how I set up game streaming on my Switch. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more modding content. Bye.